Welcome to Kind of Works. My name is Josh. Today's video is how I built this. This is my portable base vise. Because I don't have a workbench, this allows me to hand cut joinery, which is extremely hard to do without one. Uh, stay tuned for the end of the video. I'll go over exactly how it works, how it's all made. It's 100% traditional joinery and the only screws or bolts are to hold on the metal pieces. It was so much fun to make. Let's get into the video.
been sitting in there for months because one I haven't had time to set it up two I didn't need it yet I knew I was going to but I didn't need it yet and I needed to drill the dog holes for this so finally took the time to set it up took it all apart cleaned it greased it put it all back together super stoked on it so hopefully we can get this whole thing finished today Thank you so much for sticking around. I truly hope you enjoy the video. I'm gonna go over a little bit of how this works now. So a difference between this and a bench top vise, something that you would buy at a big box store, most people have in their garage on a workbench or a tool area. It bolts down to the top, it pivots. Something like that is meant for small pieces and usually metal. Those, the mouth on that will bruise any wood you put in it, hardwoods, anything, unless you put some type of like cork or soft material on the inside but the mouth is really small. So, uh, and there's, there's nothing underneath to support any of the material where this, unlike that, allows three ways to clamp down material, vertical, horizontal, and flat. So if you ever wanted to plane the surface of a board, you're able to do that. So how this works, how you set this up, there are little pegs under the mouthpiece here. Those go on the outside of the table. Feet, obviously, go on the table or whatever, wherever you are. It's nice, you can bring this anywhere you want. There is cork on the bottom of the feet that allow it not to slip around and cork on the inside of the mouth, which add for amazing friction and so it doesn't dent. It's only pine, but make sure it doesn't dent the wood. Um, so you can put this in here vertically. Let's say you wanted to cut some dovetails. Cut that, the sink, not going anywhere. Then you wanted to edge joint boards, boom. Now you can run a plane over that. Now you can do these two positions with a bench top vise like that. But what you can't do is plane a flat surface on one of those. So this is where these dogs come into play. Take these dogs and you stick them in the dog holes. Put these guys here. And what this does is allow you to grip the board underneath 
the top plane so you can run a plane over it over the side and not worry about clipping whatever's clamping down your piece. If you were to try to do that on a face vise, you would for sure damage the piece of wood that you were trying to do. And that doesn't support underneath the wood. Where here, let's say I wanted to chisel out some mortises. I can put this down, chisel out the mortises, and I'm going straight into two and a half inches of wood. Uh, really nice and solid and having nothing underneath that would one, be very hard to chisel down into, and two, unsafe because the piece could go flying. A lot of bad things could happen. Uh, but this thing is insanely, <laughs> insanely strong. But that's how this works. If you like the build, please let me know in the comments below. If you think you would have done anything differently, please feel free, let me know. I'm learning too. I've been building stuff for a very long time, uh, just now getting into fine woodworking and traditional joinery, hand cutting things, using hand tools. So if there's something that you saw that you're like, ah, that just wasn't right or I would have done that differently, please let me know in the comments. Uh, please be constructive, don't just tell me you hate it. <laughs> uh, I, wanna, I wanna learn, so please. Hit me up on uh, Facebook, on Instagram at KinderWorks. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when I have more content coming out. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys soon. Somebody was very curious about the set I had going on in our living room. <laughs> Say hi, all three followers I have. <laughs>